Hi everyone. We all seem to be absolutely obsessed with our pores at the moment, you know, with wiping out any signs of pores on our nose, our chins. There's products that you can use to cover them up, to rip them out, to make it look as if you hardly have a pore on your face. And I went to try a treatment with Dr. Johnny D'Souza, who's a brilliant cosmetic um, doctor, uh, which is all about um, the ultimate pore cleansing treatment, but it ends up with Botox in the pores. And this uh, is quite an attention grab because you think, why on earth would you Botox pores? But it's all to do with keeping your pores as clean as you can. So um, first, I suppose I should say that Botox, you know, you, normally you use Botox to relax the uh, the muscles in the face so you, you, do, you can't pull, pull so many faces. You can also use Botox differently, not injecting it into the muscles, but very superficially just under the skin. That's the way they use Botox when um, trying to stop excessive sweating, a condition called hyperhidrosis. And what doctors have noticed is that when Botox is injected very superficially into the forehead, say, it reduces the oiliness of the skin. It makes the skin less oily and that helps with your pores. So. Um, I better backtrack a bit and uh, talk about pores in general because uh, we all seem to think you can open your pores, clean them out. Pore, pore size is genetically determined. So what your pores are like, um, they are like. There's very little you can actually do about that. They don't open and close like flowers. Um, what you want is to stop your pores getting blocked up. It's oil that blocks them up. It's when that oil in them oxidizes that the plug of oil in the pore turns black that's a blackhead we all know what that looks like um, so really trying to reduce the appearance of your pores is all about cleaning out the pores um, and not letting them block up again in this treatment that dr johnny does um, there are th there's three stages to it first it's all about um, softening up the debris in the skin the plugs in the pores cleaning with, and you do that with a salicylic acid mask. Now salicylic acid is brilliant because it dissolves the oil um, in the pores. It's lipophilic. So um, it's the one thing that can actually reach into the pore and clean it out. It's a beta hydroxy acid. It's the only beta hydroxy acid and it's brilliant, particularly for doing this pore cleaning business. So after the salicylic acid mask, there is microdermabrasion to kind of vacuum out all the debris, the softened debris from the pores. I know revolting, but it's got to be done. Um, and then in order to strengthen the skin around the pores, um, Milena, who is Dr. Johnny's laser therapist and a complete whiz on skin, she uses um, a radio frequency device to um, boost the levels of collagen within the skin because that strengthens um, the skin that surrounds each bit of a pore because one of the unfortunate things about pores is um, as we get older and our collagen isn't what it used to be um, the collagen sags a bit and that the little entrance to the pore just yawns that bit wider open so bad news all around so you've got to clean out the pores you've got to strengthen the skin around them and then you want to reduce the amount of oil that your skin is producing now if you've got oily skin that is a tough one, but if you use retinol based products, of which there are a lot around at the moment, um, that can help to reduce oiliness in the skin. And in this treatment, what Dr. Johnny does is inject Botox in the pores because that takes down the oiliness. So I hope that'll roughly make sense. And <laughs> you can see in the video coming up um, what it all looks like. It's all pretty comfortable. The salicylic acid mask doesn't hurt. There's um, radio frequency, flashy zapping, which again doesn't hurt. There is also IPL, intense pulsed light treatment, also to strengthen the skin. There's then um, a hyaluronic acid mask, a really comforting um, soft cloth mask. And I wear that for 10 minutes under a red LED light canopy because that also, as well as having an anti-inflammatory effect, has a stimulating effect on your skin's collagen. So um, all that goes on before Dr. Johnny comes in with his needle. That's a very quick bit at the end. Um, that was not comfortable because any injections in the nose, they hurt like anything, um, just because the nose is very sensitive. Uh, but then it was all, all done. 
And for skincare at home to support this kind of treatment, or if you don't want to go to the lengths of having every pore blitzed out and then Botoxed, um, what can you do? You can um, get your skin nice and clean by using maybe a salicylic acid wash, maybe what I love is a salicylic toner. Um, it's a beta hydroxy acid 2% solution from Paula's Choice. That's my absolute favorite for this. It's a really runny solution. You just wipe it over the skin once or twice a day. That salicylic will reach down into the pores and just keeps them that bit cleaner because even at my advanced age, I find I do get breakouts, clogged pores if um, they have half a chance. Then to reduce the oiliness of the skin going forward, um, any product with retinol in it will help because that is normalizing the turnover of your skin cells. It's strengthening the skin cells. It also will help bring down the oil production. You could go for something like the Ordinary's Advanced Retinoid, which is not expensive at all. You could try the expensive end of the scale, the Zio Instant Pore Refiner, which is the one Dr. Johnny's Clinic sends me home with. That's lovely, but it's very expensive and you haven't got to pay all that. If you're looking to strengthen your skin at home without undergoing a laser, you could get a little micro roller, micro derma roller, a tiny spiky roller with really short um, spikes. Run it lightly over your skin at night before putting on the retinoid. That would help. You want to do this quite gently at first if you're not used to it. Don't suddenly jump into using retinol and using a spiky roller, but that is the kind of thing you can do at home. And that all should help keep your pores in line. And then you might need a bit less of all the pore cover up, the pore, anti-pore primers and all the rest of it. When I went for this treatment, I just had the Botox in the pores on my nose. Um, he didn't go for my chin. And it's really interesting. I have found my nose, which has a tendency to be really oily, you know, it's always shiny by midday and makeup will always just slide off. There's definitely less oil around. That effect kicked in after about a week. So very interesting. Um, do you have to go and have this done? Of course not. But if you are interested in what the ultimate pore patrol treatment is, this is what it's all about. All right, so this is a little peel, salicylic peel mixed with kiwi and papaya extract. This is to decongest the pores, Melena? Yes. Oh, so to... I should say hi, this is Melena who's doing the... Hi. To decongest the pores, to exfoliate the mm -hmm. top, top layer of the skin as well, to soften what's in the pores so we can easily get it out. I'm just going to put wow. a little bit in. It smells like Thanksgiving to me. Great smell. It's very, yeah, zesty. You can still smell the acid, but it's not as... There we go. According to what we see, because every patient is, uh, it's different. And uh, even your skin, when you come in next time, you may need different steps according to what we see. Mm -hmm. It's a very neat microdermabrasion, isn't it? Yeah, there's it no aluminium crystals to irritate the skin. Yeah, lovely. The tip is diamond, so if it cuts, it cuts very gently. Mm -hmm. no, I, I disliked all the ones that used to use the crystals because it felt quite Abrasive. Do you see what's and happening? Then, oh. I'm getting the mount. Ah. I don't know if you can't, can see I can't it. see that. Show, show, show it to the camera there. If, if it's taking... Now mm. it's softening what's in the pore. Ah, fantastic. Now I don't need to do mine there, there. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's not pain. No, it's a not funny painful. feeling. Right? A little yeah, like a thin break. the cooling gel. Okay, I'm going to increase a little because it seems okay. 
You know, honestly, I can hardly feel that. Okay. Have, uh, um, so this is very very superficial and it's just like the hyperhidrosis. You can see just like uh, producing a blab under the skin. Mm -hmm. 